Waja Raza Hossein Bori is from London. He is a balloon strike activist, originally from Iranian Balochistan, and he will briefly tell you about uh, and share his thoughts with you. Uh, Waja Raza Hossein Bori. As you see, I have all these things to read. Um, so, so you have to be very patient. Uh, I was in India uh, a long time ago. Uh, I was organizing some motivational uh, conferences there. So I got invitations everywhere in India. Among them was the National Association of Engineers. So I went there and it happened that my uh, turn was when after the lunch and there was a very, very big hall and everybody was asleep. <laughs> and the, <laughs> the, the person said, uh, please introduce yourself. What kind of engineer you are? I said, I am a mind engineer. And he said, what kind of um, application it has? I said, it has mind surgery on those who sleep when I speak. <laughs> uh, and uh, when uh, I was learning motivational speaking, uh, my teacher taught me two things. That when you speak, prepare two presentations. If you are the first one, read the one that you have already prepared and every um, important issue you have prepared so that everybody who comes after you just repeats what you have said. <laughs> and if you are the last one, prepare something totally irrelevant. <laughs> because you don't repeat what they have said. Uh, and that's what uh, I have done. I am uh, talking about the second one. <laughs> the relevant, totally irrelevant. Uh, once uh, I was uh, participating in a discussion and the person who was uh, my opponent uh, couldn't cope with uh, me, and uh, he accused me of being a traitor. And uh, the reason was just because I was a Baluch. Uh, the moderator, after the conference was finished, uh, he came with me and he said, uh, I am sorry, but I didn't know how tough it is to be a Baluch. Uh, and then, because few people who were there wanted to have a sort of conflict, he said, first I thought it is very tough. Now it is, I know that it is very dangerous to be a Baluch. And it is, in fact, very tough and it is very dangerous to be a Baluch. Uh, the reason is that... Uh, the Baluch people have a history unique in that region. And I am going to give you what Baluch have done in history and what they can do now. Because the rest have said what the Baluch have received <laughs> from others. The Baluch have ruled that region more than any other nation and the tribe. These are the things that possibly you have not heard, you don't know. Because I have spent my life researching this nation. And whatever I tell you, it is 100% true, and you can use all the libraries, all the experts, and I can prove it. The Baluch people founded the first two dynasties in that region that lasted for nearly 5,000 years. One, the first one was Pishdadian, and the second was Kianian, the name that the butcher of Pakistan 
is carrying, Kiani. And you must be uh, assured that Mr. Kiani is not a Kiani. <laughs> the Pishtadian and Kianians both ruled that part of the world for about 5,000 years. They created the first civilizations in that region and possibly in the world. Recently, there was a research that one spot in Mehrgar in Baluchistan was the first one where the process of urbanization started. So the first urban areas in the world started there. And a lot of, uh, what is it, archaeologists or psychologists? Uh, archaeologists <laughs> claim that. There are four spots that prove this. One is Mehrgar that I mentioned. The other one is the burnt city, which is very close to Zahedan, the capital of Western Baluchistan. Uh, just about five years ago, um, a dead person was discovered there with, uh, with her clothes, a woman. And her clothes were exactly like the clothes that the Baluch women wear now. And that belonged to 5,000 years ago. This burned city is a planned city like the most modern cities in the world, completely by the different sections and Two important things happened at that time. One is eye surgery, that they found that th there were some people who had artificial eyes. And the other one is animation. And I have both the pictures of both. Animation, that uh, there is uh, a goat that uh, jumps here and there, and they are all in. Uh, can be found in internet if you look under the title of the burned city. And the third spot is Minab, which is in uh, Kerman part of Baluchistan. And that, according to all archeologists, is the oldest spot of civilization in the world. So I have made a lot of research. And these are what the archaeologists have said. Now, two dynasties, greatest dynasties of that time, and the greatest hero of that time, those who belong to that area, they know about Rostam. Yes, mom, you know about Rostam? You have heard about Rostam, the greatest hero of that time, or all times, because after that never appeared a man who was wise and he was also a great fighter. Two characteristics rarely people have. So, so far, Baluchistan gave to the world civilization the greatest hero of that region to greatest dynasties, and as time passed, the Aryans entered that region. The first time that they made uh, a dynasty is the Mid dynasty, that are the Kurds. The second is the Achaemenians, that are the Persians, the Pars. And the third, uh, it is when the Alexander came and attacked Iran and uh, uh, destroyed everything. And after that, there is the Parthians. Three groups ruled that region before. The Kurds, the Persians, and the Baluch. Now, the, the Baluch set up the Parthian dynasty. And uh, 
anybody who can take a look at that. And uh, I had to talk in the school of uh, SWAS in London, London University, because the claim I made that the uh, Parthians are Baluch. A lot of people said this is not the case. I went there, I gave several presentations and the documents, and the names, several names of the Parthian kings are Baluch or Blush. Blush first, Blush second, Blush third. So, and they formed a, uh, a dynasty that lasted more than any other dynasty in that region, which w w is about 450 years. And after that, there is a word that Tarek mentioned here, and you have mentioned uh, here a lot. It is like Ahmed Zayi, Gamshad Zayi, uh, Nur Zayi, and so. So what is this word? The origin of this word, it, because it relates to here, five Seven families ruled that region. Seven families. Suren, Karen, Hormoz, and Zig were from Baluchistan or Sistan area. Zig. Zig was the most important family under the Sasani dynasty that was overthrown by the Arabs. Now, uh, they were the people who resisted and fought against the Arabs for more than 400 years after Islam. And Zig, the, the children and the grandchildren of uh, Zig were called after their fathers. So Ahmad Zig, because they became Muslims. And after that, everybody thought that Zig was like meaning son or something like that. Yeah. A lot of other families now have the same surname, but they are not the children of, or descendants of Zig. So Zig was the greatest family after the royal family in the, uh, after Sassanis. Now, the last two points in this regard. Uh, when the Arabs occupied Iran and the Islamic world, or the Persian Empire, the people who got more losses than anybody were the Baluch. The people who got more benefits were the Arabs and the Turks. Now, that's the reason that, that Baluch fought again and again and again, because the Baluch were among the ruling families before Islam. And they fought until in the third century, Yaqub Lais, Yaqub Lais de Baluch, uh, announced for the first time the independence of that region, including Iran, Afghanistan, and uh, Central Asia. He was the first that succeeded to say that we are in independent and we are not part of the Arab world. And he was the first one who introduced the um, today's Persian language. Before that, nobody sp spoke Persian. They spoke Arabic after Islam. And uh, he was the first one who went and found the books of before Islam, among them Shahnameh, the Book of the Kings. So I think. Uh, Baluchistan has a lot of achievements, more than any other nation in that region, and very positive achievements. And what they can do now, the reason was that for the, what they can do now. Uh, there are eight, there are eight points that uh, they qualify a nation for secession. And I would like my friends, especially the Baluch friends, to keep these things in mind. They can make research. Anybody who is interested in cause of Baluchistan, they must know that there is a way out. And this is the right of secession. 
not the right of self-determination. It is a little bit different. And the right of secession is uh, seven, eight points. When the state commits high injustices to the people of one portion of a country, these injustices could be named as massacres or genocides. Therefore, if you document any massacre, any disappearance, any killing, they could be used in a court of law against any state, and you claim that this nation is in danger, and therefore it is entitled to secession. The next one is disappearance. If people go and disappear, you can also use as a reason. And impoverishing, very, very important. If a government uses a policy of systematic impoverishing, making people poor, displacing them, misplacing them, taking their lands, stopping uh, them from school, from education, from business. This is called impoverishing policies. And according to that, you can take the government to court. This comes under injustices. But Balochistan has some additional advantages. Among them is the breach of contract. If there is a contract between two nations and one of them breaks that, then the other side has a right to secede yes. and break that union. And this is exactly what happened between Baruchistan and Pakistan. Also, occupation is another one. If the Baruch nation can prove that they have been occupied, then they have, again, a right to secede. If, also the next one, if a government, a state, tries to uh, destroy your identity, whether it is religious identity, your traditions, your racial identity, then, again, you can use that in a court of law. And physical threat, if a nation is under physical threat, again, they can go to court. And these are all the things that must be properly investigated and prepared. And two others, the right to prosperity. If a nation was not given sufficient resources to prosper and have less than other people living in the same country, then that people has no any other option except to secede to reach that level of prosperity. And the final one, this is the will of the people. The will of the people may not be now as important as the rest, but it is if a nation decides to secede, they have a right to secede. And the final session point, I think the Baluch nation has reached a point that they are ready to give everything they have to liberate themselves. They are ready to give their lives, they are ready to give their property, and they are ready to do whatever is necessary to gain the same rights that every person in a civilized world has today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very good, very good point. Very good point. Thank you. Excellent.